to my channel uh, so today i'll be doing a review on uh, flinto box as you can see so most of uh, most of uh, the people have a doubt like what is a flinto box what does it have even i had a doubt before ordering and i tried finding uh, videos uh, about this flinto box and i couldn't find any i just saw one or two that's it i didn't have any uh, review or anything on that i so i just ordered it to see whether uh, i like it so this is for my 2 year old son my son is 2 years now and he's just 2 years and 2 2 months so yeah so about flinto box is a monthly subscription box so you have to subscribe for minimum of 3 months so this is my second flinto box so this is the april flinto box uh, if you have if you've been following me you can see a flinter box review or like the april unboxing it's a proper unboxing so this time i thought i'll do a proper uh, in-depth review of the flinter box and uh, compared to the april uh, march uh, flinter box april flinter box looks more um, appealing or like it uh, it has more products i feel or more interactive sessions so Flinter box, uh, you can order your uh, boxes uh, in www.flinterbox.com. I'll uh, share a link uh, in the description box. Please do check that out. And uh, it retails for like 1095 rupees uh, for one month. But uh, they have a discount. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. Uh, when you subscribe for three months, uh, you get it for like 795 rupees for a box so it's like 2300 uh, around uh, something that comes up uh, for a three month subscription and they all uh, they also have cash and delivery so you just have to do the cod uh, when you get the receive the first box so this is the sex second box <coughs> <coughs> so let's just open it so every month you have a theme so this month it is amazing animals <coughs> just open it and this is basically an activity kind of box not like toys or anything you get a lot of activities in which you can engage your child for like a month and once he he's, he gets bored with all these the next box will come that's what they say so the box is very sturdy and you can keep this everything back in the same box and you can use it later also so this is like the information card or the things you get in this box so as you as i told you this month's theme is amazing animals you have six um games or activities here so one two so one does count baby animals second is where i live i hope you can read it yeah so these are the six uh, activities this month and they also give us uh you know uh, they are they tell us what all to use per uh, each week so see uh, week one you have three activities then week two where i live little alligator snake links week three week four like that and also um, we are making them used to new, uh, uh, new words like cub jungle cheetah and also you have to like reinforce them so basically you just can't give the splinter box to a child and ask him to play you have to sit with him or her and then uh, and what you say play with him or ask him to uh, ask questions interact with him and like that so that is the um, information card then uh, you have a story book so this story book will be related to the th uh, to that month's theme so every box you can expect this information card and this story book that will be same like the story will be different but you will get a story book so this uh, this time this is the sounds in the jungle as uh, the theme is amazing animals so the book is of a very good quality um, thick paper and everything so yeah so this is the book uh, yeah this is the book and then uh, comes the contents so the uh, the packaging is very sturdy <laughs> i feel like repeating it because it is sturdy so you have like six um, packs like it is a kit uh, as uh, I told you, uh, there are six um, activities. So, the first one is this one. So, let's just open each. This is going to be a long video. So, if you really want to know what's inside, please keep watching. Or else you can sk skip to the end part to see what all are inside. Okay, let's just open it. 
so now i've opened the first kit so in this kit you'll be having the things to play with and also there's again an information card like how to play this so uh, this is a count the baby animals and they'll be they will write uh, how to count and everything it's like the match and um, puzzle uh, sort of thing so two you have like the in this you have like four uh, cubs and you have to keep each inside this you have different shapes so it's a kind of a puzzle like thing plus the child learns to count also so this is the first activity so it's like four four five three and uh, two so the child learns to count and everything so and he can play like as cognitive development will be there they will uh, write uh, like what all things will be developed uh, while playing each game so this is the first uh, packet so this i'm not going to take it out uh, it's just the shapes of the animal into which you will, you will just place these shapes inside this like this yeah so that's it now let's open the second packet so this is the second packet and the name is where i live uh, so here also cognitive academic fine motor skills and they have told how to play this and all it's just uh, this uh, almost the same thing i got last month also it was a house theme so this velcro kind of thing you can uh, like remove this and they have to match it where the hippo is just place it there and this velcro so it will stay there so this is how this is kind of like memory game and you can flip it and uh, oh this is a memory game yeah this is kind of memory game where you have to place the animals where uh, it is here so uh, this uh, same thing i mean the same type of activity was there last uh, month also that was a house theme they had that by bed table and everything so this is the second uh, kit this is quite easy not very complicated kids love to mix and match and they'll just place it uh, here and there that's all because my son is only two years and two months but he uh, likes to do this so yeah that's the second one now let's open the third packet so this is a third packet and uh, in this uh, you have the little alligator like kind of a dress up kind of thing you have this uh, gloves for the hand and this big alligator suit it's just a cloth uh, stitched in the shape of an alligator that's all you can the child can wear it uh, and he can just play uh, that's it about this i guess let me just read the information thingy and uh, there they have a little story also here so you can just tell uh, the child to say girl you and when you walk like me say sab like that so it's basically a pretend play kind of thing so that's what ah uh? so this is how you play this you have to discuss uh, storytelling imagination physical development and all that so yeah uh, so see you can like you can like know or uh, understand how much uh, your child is uh, doing and everything you can you have you have a lot of questions here so that's the third packet now coming to the fourth packet the fourth one is snake links uh, i i couldn't i didn't have the time to open and see what is inside so this is how it looks uh, this is supposed to be a snake and they have to you know put these links into this uh, this thing let me just open it through the tail of the snake so you have these numbers on each link my son has not yet uh, doesn't recognize numbers yet so he will he can just put it through this you know snake links like this and then again another one like this so this is how you have asked to play it and this is explore coordination color play pattern play and creative play so this is how you are supposed to do it and then they can just play it you know the snake will go like this and mainly the splinter box is based on this imagination and creativity so that's about this now the next packet oh my god this is uh, you have animal prints sensory gross motor and creativity so in this uh, actually i don't understand anything after seeing this so you know uh, so that's the best thing 
about printer box they uh, provide with this uh, little information and you can do uh, like what is it is meant to do so you have like a gloves here for the baby or the child they can put uh, the hands inside and then I think it's a coloring kind of activity and this is what is this I think this is an apron yeah you have this uh, alligator and everything you can just color it with the color and thread and then you have to you know put it along the thread like a see like a chain and step one help your child keep the colors ready and put on the bubble wrap club make it messiness proof by using a messy matte apron and then your child creates bubble patterns on different animals spotted your tie snake chameleon giraffe cheetah and alligator by tapping different colors one stripe punch out the animals and string them together put the string on the wall using stickers yeah this is a really cute activity but i don't think my son is <laughs> big enough to do this so i'll just keep it safe and then take it after a few months maybe so this is like a coloring activity which is nice and you have like uh, six boards like this and then you can hang it on the thread that is also provided everything is provided so you don't have to like do anything out uh, like uh, you don't have to do anything from outside the box and i think this is the apron and uh, this is like a plastic uh, you know uh, this is like a base where you can yeah this is a messy mat yeah that's the term so uh, you can keep the like coloring boards here the kids can uh, paint it so let me just open the paint let's see how it looks paint uh, this is really cute and uh, i just saw it now it is from faber castell so that's a good brand uh, and this uh, this is like a punch coloring actually i don't know I, i'll have to check it out and i'll uh, put it uh, in the comment below i think you have to like oh this is uh, this is for the sticking this is the sticky tape i think and the strainer is also provided in here and these are the colors and you have to just color it with your oh with the bubble yeah this uh, this is a uh, bubble wrap kind of um what uh, this thing glove and so the child will put the bubble wrap and then dip it in the paint and they will just paint it like this so that's how it's supposed to be so i guess it will suit two to three year old but my son is still not ready he'll just make a big mess out of, mess out of it so i'll just give it once he is like two and a half years or something but i am looking forward to use it because i think he'll enjoy it a lot so yeah these are the products so it's quite, uh, quite easy to figure out how to use it as you saw how i figured it right now mm. so these are the things that is in the filter box and give a thumbs up if you like the video and do subscribe you can watch more printer box reviewing and i'll be ordering explorer box later after after two months so you can watch that also so stay tuned to this channel don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon so you'll be notified on uh, like a uh, new video is uploaded so thank you for watching and take care thank you again